Hi, you guys. What's up? What's up, you guys? Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day today. Hopefully, you guys is. Welcome to my channel. Oh, welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Who the we didn't for today? Give us a different sign. I ain't done yet. Give us a... Give us a Leo. And Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it on Leo. That's what it come out first. So here you go. Here you go, la la Leo. Here I go, Leo. What's Leo need to know today? Leo's like me, and I've got subscribers for Leo, so I'm going to do a reading for you, Leo. Oh, you're a hero or hell one. Look there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I love you, appreciate you, and thank you, loyal subscribers. I hope I can give you something today. This is about a passion for a journey of personal self-empowerment. So you're on a journey of personal self-empowerment. Is that what it means, you guys? And uh, what else does Leo need to know today? Today is somebody. It's either you got great powers of observation and intuition and a desire to seek out truth, or there's a detective. There's a detective watching you at the moment. What else do they want us to know as detective? What? Oh, okay. Detective is watching a healer and a father. This detective is seeing that you are a real heroine, a hero. You are actually healing this these fathers around, you know. A healer, you got a passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. The ability to help transform pain into healing. And this father has a talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a, a tribal unit. So maybe you're somebody that is, um, this is your children's father and you're helping this person to heal. This detective sees this, that you're helping this father heal. And is there anything else that we need to know? Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Oh, and then we got athlete. This is dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. You're helping this father around, um, you know, have strength and spirit again, you know, willpower and strength of their spirit again. And, And this queen came out, and you know, this this radi radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. You're being seen as a healer queen at the moment. You just like to protect others, you know. You do this daily. Athlete, this is somebody that does something, you know. 333, three, three, we know how to manifest, and we're somebody good at manifesting, and when you see. Threes, you know, the Ascended Masters is helping you, and maybe you're seen as an Ascended Master, actually, and that's why people seeing you as a hero or heroine at the moment, you know, and and this detective knows that you're just seeking out the truth and that you got a lot of great healing powers about you, and you're helping to heal this father. Maybe there's a father around that has a handicap, and you're helping this father, and, and, and uh, you know, this is about your you use your benevolent authority to protect them and and they see it they see it okay that's how it means you guys what else for leo hang on you guys i'm trying to figure out what my card is Spirit, um, who is this hero's son? Oh, it's an empress, an empress in the dark. So this could be escapism and a false sense of heroism. So maybe there's an empress around that 
is in her shadow side and this is about over emotional somebody this is ma maternal excess smothering behavior infertility experiencing difficulties in mothering or with a mother so maybe someone's having difficulties with a mother at the moment and what about detective what about detective Ooh. this could be this this it could be somebody is falsifying information around you and it could be an empress you know and the empress is a uh, i think the empress taurus and uh libra energy and then we got the moon right here and this is a uh, pisces and and somebody's is uh is depressed they're over emotional see it said it twice there's illusion and deception distorted paranoia losing touch with reality so this person is uh losing touch with reality who's this healer who's the healer oh and then we got you're a temperance angel maybe this is a sagittarius around and you're but all that it really means is you're somebody that is uh, in, uh, that's balanced. You know how to alchemize the life you want. You're alchemizing being a healer. And you don't think do things to the excess. You used to maybe did, but you don't anymore. You found the middle way within and without. You're able to bridge the two worlds, earthly and spiritual. See? That's why you're a spiritual healer. Oh, I love spirit. Don't you, Leo? Yeah, we love them. And what about father? Father in the light side, please. Will it be a father in the light side, please? A father in the light side, please. Not in the dark. Please be a father in the light side. Where are <laughs> Oh, it's a father in the light side. <coughs> and then here we got the hang one. Suspending the time. Uh, I think this is also Pisces energy. And this is immobility. Surrender. Illumination acceptance sacrifice so i think this father it's been illuminated to him that you are a healer that's meant to bring balance to this earth you know and that uh your perception you've changed this man's perception on life and their values and and they know that you had to change and be a willing sacrifice for this spiritual gain. I love you, Spirit, how you how you explain this. I love you. Don't you all love Spirit? It about makes me cry. And what about athlete? And this girl that I listened to, Philly Softball, she says this is a hitman card. And, uh, yeah, y'all can watch my videos about that. I'm not going to talk about it every day. You'll have to go back and watch. But, yeah, they'll, they'll see you hit me around people that are chosen. What about athlete? We'll see if it's in a dark or light. Oh, it's in a dark side, and it could be a Virgo. But it doesn't have to be. It just uh, is somebody that is withdrawn, and they're in isolated, and they're lonely at the moment. And uh, they overanalyze everything, okay? It's uh, self-absorption and overthinking. This person is running away and hiding from others and refusing to listen to the wisdom and guidance of others. This person is. This athlete, they don't want to listen to others, okay? And what about queen? Oh, gosh, queen. So the queen is in the shadow, and she's she becomes arrogant when her authority is challenged, and she's controlling and demanding, okay? And this hermit, this person they misuse of uh, athletic ability for selfish ends false sense of invulnerability and entitlement this 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 man or woman feels entitled to you and look look it's the dark side of cancer so this is a queen around that's a cancer and all they're worried about is material goals and ambitions I need. Not letting them rule me completely, I heed. But it looks like she's went crazy, look. This is about bravado, blinkered vision, uh, obsessively driven. This, this uh, cancer's obsessively driven and 
they're very imbalanced and they're insensitive and they um, they're only concerned with outer successes this queen is she's only concerned with outer successes are you listening trying to do something different for you all okay cage you guys so we got a dark we got a dark Taurus a dark Pisces a light side of the Sagittarius healer and uh, my in my ninth house is Sagittarius this is me I won't claim this is me right here and then we got a light side of a Pisces okay and we got a dark Virgo and we got a dark Cancer so we got more dark out here and the the light is right in the middle so if you are somebody who is connected to a father like I am we're in the light do you see this we're in the light so I'm going to read this story to you all and let you know that we're trying to live in the light and be good, you know. And everybody knows how to do this. What about hero and herald with the spirit? Uh, it says, great adventure. Taste, take a risk and venture forward. So this person that's trying to be a hero or a he heroine, this woman... She is wanting to take a risk and move forward, and this detective is watching her eyes because they know it, that she lies, okay? And uh, and expect the wondrous to emerge, miracles. You're getting ready to receive miracles, healer. You are. You're getting ready to see miracles, healer, because you're somebody that's balanced and uh, what for healer? Oh, healer, you know, you know how to stay focused, okay? Hold the course, stay focused. You know how to stay focused and father, what father need to know? What did father need to know? Oh, this father has valiant courage. He, he knows how to take action with passion and this father loves you and they're gonna come flying their colors for you, baby. An athlete in the dark, Kermit. It shot out two and I had two more cards, so. You're viewing, from, uh, they're trying to view from above at the moment, and they're getting the bigger picture. That's why they had to go within and face their shadow side. All these people I said was in the dark, they're facing their shadow side. And once they sh f face it, they'll be able to go on an adventure and receive miracles. And, you know, of, of course, they'll have a lot of courage and stay focused then. Because they're, they're viewing this from a different standpoint, and it's clean. Uh, this queen over here it's in her dark whenever she decides to be in her light she will reach her destination see and your light is trying to shine brightly and it's trying to and you're letting all that dark come out old dark cancer okay that's what it's saying okay Who is this hero or heroine? A good pretender. So it's Empress, this Empress that's in the dark. She's a good pretender, uh, and this is a hypocrite. These false beings will become our political leaders and our priests that we follow religiously. Just know these people live double lives. They smile in your face in public and behind closed doors. They be a wife beater, cheater, molesters, and a con. They are very cunning people that dominates humanity. They have subtle ways of humiliating us without being in the picture. Are you listening? So, there's a good pretender around trying to be a heroine, and she's a false empress. And this detective sees her eyes. And what about else for detective? Oh, it said a new love is coming in for you that will make you feel like a, queen, a king or a queen. So, expect a miracle. I mean, uh... That was this somebody being in their dark energy, and that was a Pisces moon, okay? So, so this detective is seeing that 
they is a new king or a queen coming in and healer, healer stay focused. Healer stay focused, hold the course, cause there's a karmic feminine that's doing magic on you, healer. These both came out together. And you hold the course and you know, karmic feminine is somebody that you're meant to learn lessons from and they'll try to force yourself in your life, they're shitty negative women. These shitty negative karmics is doing magic on you, and you've noticed. You've noticed, and father's noticed. What about father? What about father, spirit? What about father? <coughs> uh, this man wants you to not be broken hearted. Okay, this man don't want you to be broken hearted. And what about athlete? Or it could be that he wants to keep you trapped with him until one of you dies, okay? He might want to keep you broken hearted. I don't know, but it come out in the light side. And then athlete. View from above, get the big picture. Pisces, open up your emotions to the one you love. So maybe Virgo, Vir, uh, yeah. Virgo and Pisces, if you look over here to the side, Virgo and Pisces, this is, uh, remember, he was in his dark shadow. This is, this is this Virgo's, probably their north node is Pisces. And when they get in their north node, then they'll open up their emotions to you. Until then, they're not going to open up their damn emotions to you. And what about this queen reaching your destination? Oh, this person is pissed off and get ready to explode. She's so pissed and big mad. She's big mad because your light is shining brightly and you're reaching your destination and she did not want you to. Well, we really don't give a fuck, do we? We don't care what she wanted, you know? Whoever this woman is around you, if you know a cancer, she's totally pissed because you, you know, because people pay attention to you. That's all. That's all it is. <coughs> okay, Leos. If you don't cancer, they just mad cause cause some damn reason. I don't know. Let me see what energy pulls out. We might have already had these cards pull out, but I don't want to go flipping through a bunch. Just go with it. Okay, you guys. If we don't know what pulls out, it does. Okay. What else for Leo today? You need to go outside and sit in the sunlight if it ain't raining. It's been raining here all day, you guys. One fell in the floor, okay? Spew it. 27 can't come out. What, what, we, what does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know today, Spew it? Can you please tell us? Could you please tell us what old Leo's need to know? Please tell us what old Leo's need to know. It kept falling on the floor, y'all. Where I got my fan on. I'm sorry if you hear it. It's hard. I gotta keep it on, okay? There it went. There it went the floor again. I can't help it, you guys. I just wanted to get y'all some messages out. And see if this helps anybody out here today. I hope it helps somebody, at least one or two of you guys. And Please help me to uh, get my name around. I love you and appreciate you, Leos, okay? Now, let's see what this is. Let me get the ones that fell. There's about five or six failed, you guys. Oh, wow. Spirit, don't let all this fall, please. A bee with a boot, a bottle, beetle, a Spirit said they, they love you. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Aliens are pursuing you, Leo. <laughs> And aliens come out the other day. I don't know if it was with Leo, but I tell you right now, somebody's aliens is pursuing your ass. So maybe you're somebody that saw aliens. You better watch. But it looks like they might want to just bring balance to your life. Ain't this crazy how it tells a story? I love spirit, don't you all? Please, please hit subscribe and like you guys. 
It said, friends tried to steal your light. They tried to steal your light healer, and these aliens fucking know it, and they don't like it. Uh-uh. They know that you're business-minded, and his father knows it, too, and this person does, does not like conflict. This old queen and this athlete that does shit all the time, this queen athlete, she does not like it. And you sat patiently through all this mess and hell that they put you through, and now the tables has turned. The tables has turned, okay? These friends, it's turning on them. It's funny, ain't it? And you're getting way to laugh all the way to the bank because you're business-minded. And I'm not your concern, honey. Quit. We don't need conflict. We're not your concern, honey bunches. And your love life was being affected by others in your business. See, these friends was trying to fuck with your love life. And spirit got mad as hell at them. And your so-called friend is a snitch. And they run their mouth to the law about your personal business. Hear that? That's why. That so-called friend ain't worth a shit. And the big dogs are the ones that are involved in all this situation now. <laughs> so the big dogs, it might be these aliens is pursuing these friends and their dreams. Ain't that funny? Please hit subscribe and like. Hit a little like if you like what I said. I hope your alien scares the fuck out of them, don't you all? Oh, they're going to be in isolation now. This old ugly queen over here that likes to be explode and think that your life is hers and your friends think that, they're, that your life is theirs. No. And remember, I can lead people to their own demise, so y'all better watch out or I'll bring the whole shit show down. That's what the aliens is saying, all right? And these karmics only want the best of the best. These karmics. They're going to get the best of the demise, didn't they know? Please, can we start things fresh and leave the past behind? No, we can't, so-called friends. Y'all try to fuck with my love life. And yeah, they did, they did. People I worked with as my friends, but they wasn't. And they have a shit life, and they want to fuck up your family because they got a shit life. And that's why the big dogs is out the door ass now. And they know they're a bunch of fucking pretenders. And you're going to triumph over this person that put that put you in, put isolation spells on you. And all it did is help you to grow your business. That made you business-minded. Thank you. Thank you, friends, that tried to steal my life. And you tried to put me in conflict with my person. It, it, all that it did is make me triumph for my business. I love them. <laughs> Thank you, en enemies. <laughs> I'm on fire. You're going to triumph and be on fire. They're going to see you rising to the top. It took a lot to get out of this toxic karmic cycle in this lifetime. And these aliens know it. And they know that they was deceived by greed. That's all they cared about. And when I first saw you, I fell in love immediately. And you smiled back at me. And that's when I knew. Now look. Now look. That's your true love, baby. Remember to apply to your life what you've learned from meeting this person, place, or thing. Yeah, and I have. I learned that to not put my trust in anyone but myself. I learned from meeting these people uh, that I could grow a business on my own. I learned that from them people. I learned that isolation helped me. I learned that. I learned that a good pretender is not my friend. I'm not trying to pretend to anyone. I tell y'all the truth on here all the time, okay? And I learned that you need to respect me if you want me to. I respected all these people, and they didn't respect me none. I'm telling you right now, they didn't. And affirmations. I learned to tell myself that I am beautiful and I am worthy of love every day. And that's why Spirit, Spirit helped me with this. And, the, and these people just worried that you can't get your business up and going. But they thought I was going to start a cleaning business. But I did, and I started a tarot business. <laughs> <laughs> And we want you to compete with us again. They want you to come compete with them. Nah. No. 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 Excuse me, you all. You've done learned your lessons. You ain't going to compete with them. They're just trying to fuck with your business again. That's all it is, okay, you guys? If I was you all, I would not go back. You'd be crazy if you did, Leos, because you're... Because you, you've been brought balance. The the angels brought balance to you, okay? And these people that does magic, don't worry. I know how to send all that magic back. I do it every day. I do it every day. I take a shower every day and wash it off with my bath, my salt bath. 
I'm not your all's concern, honey. That's what we're saying over here, ain't it, Bay Bays? That's what we're saying over here, ain't it, Bay Bays? Let me put these back up so I don't mess them up. Now, let me give you a little love message. It's your little love message, Leo, and I hope this helps you today, because I love you, Leos. I love you all, and I hope you can get a little light and love from me over here. Oh, it says, uh, hang on, let me get you another one. Okay, so right now it says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So you need to actually work on your partnership, Leo, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Once you put in your brain what you want, it will come to you. Don't think that it won't. If you sit and think about it constantly, that's the person going to come to you. Now listen to me. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. See, Leo, you've already met this person, honey, or, or, or guy. Here, you have already met him, okay? And you need to forgive and learn. Forgiving and learning. This is all that this was about. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So don't let people bring you down. Forgive them. Say, I forgive you, but I don't forget. I forgive you, but I don't forget. And I've learned not to do that ever again. That's how you got to do, Leo, okay? And I love you, and I hope that helps. And let me get you a little angel card over here and see what it says. One little angel card for you guys today. Energy work. It says life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Oh, I love y'all. I hope I can give y'all some healing energy that's from my hands to yours. And I do have healing hands. I do. I do. I'm actually, uh, y'all gonna watch my videos, but I actually, my hands has healed. My hands has healed my dog before. And, and just me crying and praying healed my, one of my dogs. You know, and, and I know it helps my loved ones. And I just, I just want y'all to have love out there, Leo. That's all I want y'all to have. And I love y'all and I appreciate you. And please come back and hit subscribe and peace. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for viewing my channel. Thank you, loyal subscribers. Love y'all.